Hi Dresser Kitties, Wendy here. Today we're going to draw a wolf, so let's get started. To draw this awesome wolf, let's first start by drawing the eyes. So I'm going to come right here and draw a circle. Not too big, just a nice little circle right here. And then I'm going to come right across bow right here. Just enough room for the snout area and draw another circle. I tried giving this wolf a bit bigger eyes and it just didn't look right. So we're keeping it slightly smaller than usual. Okay, so now we have our two circles and let's make them draw so cute eyes. So two small circles inside for highlights and a curved line at the bottom and shade in the top. And lines at the bottom and same thing over here. So now that we have these eyes in, let's come to the sides right here and we're going to draw a curve that comes down just to anchor the eyes a little bit better. And same thing here, just draw this little curve that kind of hangs out from the side. Okay, so now that we have the eyes in, let's come to the center, come down a little bit and say about right here, I'm going to start to draw the nose. So right in the center, kind of this straight line, slight curve. We're going to draw this big wolf nose, so round off the sides and then we're going to connect it in the center. So come down and then go right back up. Nice big nose and then right here in the top, I'm just going to give this little oval for a highlight and shade everything else in. Now we have the eyes and the nose. We have this shape right here, this kind of triangular shape. Um, we're going to keep coming down and right here, straight down in the center. Okay, draw this little line and then we're going to go out. So we're going to go slightly angle down and then up right about here, right underneath the eye and just kind of cap it off right here, a little bit thicker. So same thing over here, just come down slightly just like the other side and then we're going to go up right underneath the eye but right here just like the other side and cap it off you want to make a happy wolf right <laughs> okay so then in the on the bottom right here we're just going to draw this little curve right at the bottom and then in this little area right here just darken it a little bit this triangular shape round this off a little bit more. Okay, so now that we have that, let's come to and draw some details. We're going to come right here in the eye and very lightly, I'm just going to draw this curve right at the eye and then just going to kind of pretend it's meeting up the mouth area. So same thing right here. So this is just a detail for the snout area. But right there. Just lightly. And then right on the nose area, just going to draw two more lines just for more detail. And then above the eye, we're going to come up here and we're going to draw this angular curve and then down right over the eye. And then right here, another curve. So all these lines right here just gives our wolf a little bit more personality. That's what I'm trying to aim for here. <laughs> a little curve and then another one right here. There, see? So now it's like, it's more complete, right? So hopefully that helped you. And then um, from there, let's go ahead and we're gonna start to frame the face. So let's see here, let's, the easier way is, let's come to the top. We're gonna go nice high. We were imagining this huge head, because it's very furry. So I'll just say about right here. Let's make it a little bit easier. Let's come to the top right here, but in this area, and I'm just gonna draw a curve right on top. Just play around with it. If it's too high, just bring it down a little bit lower, but about right there. I'm going to go and start the ear on both sides. So I'm just going to center 
make sure about centered right here. Let me get my camera. And right here, I'm gonna go ahead and go up nice and high for these big wolf ears. So round off the tip, and I'm gonna bring this down so right there. And then let's come in here, the detail. And we're still remembering that we're just going out at this curve. So about right here, I'm gonna stop and zigzag. So same thing over here. I'm just gonna drag this point across, about right here. And come down just like the other side. All right there, and then same thing in this area. And zigzag for the inside. So we have the top of our head in. And then now we're going to bring this in here, come out. And about right here, we're going to start to draw the side of the face. So let's bring this out. And about right here, we're just gonna curve out a little bit and we're gonna to start to zigzag. So we'll work on this side first. And down. So we're just going around the face. So then whatever space you have left, let's finish this ear. Let's bring this in. There. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing over here. About right here. And zigzag in. So now that we've pretty much framed the face, so notice it's just a little bit angular here and then it comes in all around. And then we're going to connect this. So let's come right here and we're just gonna connect it in the center to separate the head from the body. So I'm just gonna zigzag again and then towards the center right here, I'm gonna bring it down a little bit more and then go back up on the other side. There, so hopefully that wasn't too um, complicated. You just always come back in here and make any adjustments you need. Okay, and then a little bit more detail right here. We can just come in here and lightly fill in the space with some more of this fur texture. Okay, then now um, let's draw the fur on the chest neck area. So let's come about right here, nice and wide, about here and here. And we're basically going to draw the same thing again, just zigzag and forth and we're going to bring it down to the center to say about right here and draw one big curve all the way to the center and then we're going to go back up however many zigzags you want okay and then now that we have that let's go ahead and start to draw the front legs and the back legs the body so let's come right here and our wolf has very long limbs. So about right here, we're gonna bring it down. So notice when I draw, when I'm not too sure about my lines, I kind of sketch with my um, Sharpie. So that's something you can do too when you're not too sure where your lines are going. Just kind of use it like a pencil and sketch. And then when you're finally done with your lines, you just go back in and make it more solid. Okay, so then I have my two front, um, two front legs in. Kind of know where I'm going. Let's bring this down a little bit more. So I'm gonna come about right here. And about right here, I'm going to stop and pop this out and connect. And then put in two curves right here. So same thing over here. Then round it off. And once again, curve. There. Okay, so then now we have that. Let's draw the back. So about right here, nice and high. We're gonna come up, curve down. And then we're gonna curve it in, about right here. 
me just make this a little bit higher here. Not so curvy, sorry. <laughs> I look too round. Okay, then we're gonna bring it down to about right there. And then we're gonna curve out for the back foot and in. There. So let's do the same thing on the other side, about right here. And bring it in just like the other side. And then curve out. And in. There. And then in between, whatever space you have left, just add a small curve right there and then for the tail it's come about right here we're gonna make it nice and bushy once again we're just gonna zigzag and then curl it in about right here and then just bring it back and tuck it oops tuck it right back here behind the foot and i'll just come in here and zigzag some different color in the tip of the uh, tail and that is pretty much it. You can add another line right here in the center if you like for some more detail. Make this a little bit fluffier. And I'll add a heart right here to make it my draw so cute wolf. <laughs> so they're all done. I really hope you love how this wolf turned out and that I helped you draw him fun and easy. Thanks so much for watching and if you loved it, please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any Jurassic Q videos. See you later.